It's back to school time, and that also means back to the lunchroom. CBS News Miami's Naja Sherman shows us what's on the menu this year in Miami Dade and also tells us about an annual health care conference for staff. Breakfast and lunch are free to all Miami-Dade Public School students again this year. Having not to pack a lunch for your children when you're in a crunch can be very helpful. And this year, there are some new menu items. We have a few different items that we have uh, featuring this year as new items for lunch. We have a clean label beef patty on a white wheat brioche bun. This clean label item has five ingredients, ground beef, sea salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. We also have our uh, pinwheel calzones, which is one of our vegetarian options. We have a chicken and vegetable whole wheat pot sticker that has no uh, MSG. We have over here our whole grain breaded uh, drumsticks that have no artificial colors. The students approved these items through taste tests that were conducted throughout the school year. So they were a big part of selecting all the new menu items. Meantime, hundreds of Miami-Dade school-based nurses and healthcare professionals attended an annual Health Connect conference with the Children's Trust. Today's a great day. We have 400 nurses, mental health professionals, and social workers. The Children's Trust funds 150 clinics and schools. So while, while teachers are getting ready for school to start and parents are excited, Kids are going to come, but they also need to wrap around services for health. One nurse we spoke with talked about the importance of this event. Well, for me, this is always vital because we um, network. We can see other people who work within um, different agencies. We get to come together and we get to learn from each other and learn from our experiences. The nurses and healthcare professionals were brought up to speed with the latest training. This is part of a two day event, an important resource for students and families this upcoming school year. Naja Sherman, CBS News Miami.